up at the ceiling. I have electromagnet holding a can at the same level as my barrel. And I put a steel ball in this thing, a steel marble. And I, I pick an air hose. And I stick that air hose to it. You can't see anything. All you can hear is a steel ball knocking the bottom out of the can just about and ringing the can every single time because as soon as the steel ball comes out of this barrel, it trips this micro switch right there, which turns this can loose, and the can starts falling as the projectile goes right in the center of the can and puts a huge dent in a steel can, which proves clearly that what? Horizontal motion has nothing to do with vertical motion. So if you have a weapon that's like this, level, and the ground is level, and the projectile and the cartridge comes out sideways, and you fire it, and the cartridge comes out sideways, doesn't come out like this, it comes out this way. The bullet and the cartridge will hit the ground at the same time. Horizontal motion has nothing to do with vertical motion. <coughs> well, at the Fort Benning, you get you one, borrow one of those M155s with a 200 pound projectile. Get it on that flat road, I-185, it's flat, right? Poor old Thogus called this act. <laughs> Don't know thought about that. We lay claim to the world's longest cul de sac, I-185. And you point that barrel straight up in the air and you get yourself going about 55 miles per hour and pull the lanyard. You better do one or two things. You either better slow down or speed up. Because if you remain at 55 miles per hour, that projectile is coming right back in your barrel. Right back in the barrel. Wind resistance has very little to do with the 200 pound projectile, I promise you. you used to do, when I was in the service we used to say, you know, you, you don't have to worry about the 155s because we can put them in your watch pocket. 45 miles away. Put them in your watch pocket. Put one round right after the other in your watch pocket. So when you're moving down the road, that projectile is moving with you. I also have, I think they threw it away. I had a, a little car that you could pull with a string. It has a big steel ball in the car about this size. Pretty heavy steel ball. It then automatically, after you start pulling it, after a certain distance, it fires that steel ball up in the air. And as long as that car is being pulled, that barrel, steel ball comes right back in the barrel. Is it time to go? Is it past time to go? We got 40, 40 more minutes. How much? Three more minutes. No, I'm through. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God.